on YouTube where the past comes alive. Brian's knife showcasing them vintage pocket knives. Every blade tells a story, rusty but grand. Reminding me of the knives once held in my dad's hand. Hey, welcome back to Brian's Knives. Wanted to jump on and do a little video today of a new knife that my buddy Dwayne over at Clark's Kentucky Knives uh, sent me uh, this past week. Uh, he sent me a lot of great stuff and I'm just going to share those things uh, a little at a time. And uh, today we're going to look at this Stockman. Uh, kind of cool. It came in this box. So it is a Marbles brand. And there is um, like the model number, if you care about that. Just typical marbles box here. Let's take a look at the knife. So yeah, look at this guy. Pinched bolsters, threaded. Some kind of a Delrin or synthetic uh, handle scale there. Kind of cool with the gun. Uh, in the center of it. Well, not really the center, but kind of in the center. Let's take another look here. Brass liners. Smooth. Not much gapping to really mention. Other side, much like the front without the gun emblem on it. Yeah, so take a look. Let's pull the big clip point blade up there. Got the marbles logo etched on the blade there. Typical uh, nail nick there. It has the match strike uh, nail nick, which I can take or leave. Um, I would just soon not have the match strike, but it's not a big deal either way. Yeah, good snap. If we go back over here, then we have the spade blade. Same kind of nail nick, of course. Pretty pointy uh, for a spay. Some people will like that, some maybe not as much. But uh, yeah, a nice little blade there. It's, yeah, there's nothing on, no tang stamp or anything there. Yep, good snap on that blade. Oops. And then we will pull up the sheet foot. So good looking blade there. See the other side. Yep. Fairly sharp. Yeah, I believe that blade's a bit sharper. But yeah, a nice uh, little knife for sure, Dwayne. I appreciate it so much. I've never, this might be my first marbles branded knife. I'm not sure that I've ever had one, so that's kind of cool. And let me do a little, just a little comparison on size here, so. You know, there's your K75 pattern. So these guys are very similar in size. Uh, let's see if we can tell. Yeah, I mean, that's basically, basically the same size knife here. Probably a little hard to tell there. Do a little blade comparison just to get an idea here. No half stops on that knife, but neither is there on the 75. Uh, and again, very similar in size and shape, of course. So yeah, that's kind of what we got there. Does I just noticed this does have the, the marbles tank stamp on it as well. Let's see if y'all can see that. I should have looked. I'm not sure what these knives sell for, but um, they're fairly inexpensive, I think. It's a pretty good-looking knife, in my opinion. 
I'm liking it, that's for sure. And I know it's late, but I'm gonna tag it um, for the Satterman, um, yeah, <laughs> the Saturday Stockman Stampede that uh, Brother Terry uh, created an open tag for some time ago. And I've not had a new Stockman in a while, so this is perfect for that. Uh, I hate that I didn't get it up yesterday, but uh, we uh, took a drive uh, out of town for a good part of the day yesterday. And uh, so I just didn't get around to getting a video out outside of the one that uh, the short that I made while we were down at Heather's grandmother's property. Uh, yeah. Not a bad looking stockman at all. Kind of like this guy. So yeah, so that's uh, going to go in the collection today. Uh, next to a couple of my K75s. I do like um, this size pocket knife. Uh, you can do an awful lot with, um, you know, a K75 pattern or a, or a full-size trapper like this guy here and Delrin. Um, they're just a good size work knife. Um, so I really enjoy the 75 pattern and the trapper. Uh, both, uh, and for a lot of the same reasons. They feel good in the hand. You know, they're a good size knife. You're not afraid to uh, do some um, harder work with those. Uh, and um, they're just a classic pattern. You just can't go wrong, too wrong with either of those. Uh, I like the longer spay on the Trapper, of course. Uh, not everybody loves the spade blade. So if you don't like the spade, you're probably not going to like a trapper. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so yeah, it just kind of fits right in the sweet spot uh, as far as I'm concerned. So anyway, I guess that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I try to keep these relatively short. I think we're less than seven minutes. Uh, I know everybody has a tough time uh, finding time to, to watch content. And uh, so I try to keep these uh, uh, as short as I can, you know, without rushing through things. But uh, anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're having a great Labor Day weekend. Um, I'm working Monday uh, per usual uh, for holidays, but uh, I'm taking Friday next week off, so that'll be okay. And uh, otherwise, have a great rest of your day. Um, God bless each one of you, and thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.